Today I'm going to start off with a poem that I wrote. It's called Look Beyond What You See. When you look at me, what do you see? I'm a woman, about 5'7", caramel skin. When you look at me again, what do you see? Big, dark hair, brown eyes. Look at me one more time. What do you see? I got a mole about a half an inch underneath my left eye, a cream birthmark on the back of my left leg, a scar on the left side of my chest. There's a lot going on, on the left side of my body. Look at me a last time, but this time, try to look beyond what you see. Today, I'm going to talk to you about some questions that I get daily. I'm hoping to answer these so I will never have to answer them again, but I doubt that's going to happen. And it's about my hair. I get, is it real? How do you get it like that? Why did you cut it? And my favorite of all time, can I touch it? That dep I can answer the last question. That just depends on the day. Today, sure. Tomorrow, I don't know. Probably not. In order to answer the rest, I have to tell you a little story that starts on May 16th, 2014, when I made the decision to go natural. And if you do not know, going natural is a process in which African Americans choose not to chemical their hair. Either you can do a big chop, which means cutting off all of your hair. I was not that brave. I felt my head was weirdly shaped, and it wasn't going to look good for me. So I decided to transition, which is when you allow your hair to grow half natural, half chemical. I decided to do this. If you asked me then why I decided to do this, I probably would say, you know, I'm trying to get healthy hair. But on the inside, it was more like, I want the long, biracial, lovely curls. Obviously, that didn't happen. And I'm definitely not biracial, so I don't even know why I thought that was going to happen. But I think I was tricked. When I did my research, I saw these beautiful girls running on the beach, long hair, and I read blogs about how this was just a life-changing process. You're really going to get in touch with your ethnicity. I saw the big afro and the black power, and I was inspired. I didn't know what they actually meant beneath the surface of the photo until I actually went through the process myself, in which I emotionally started to grow confident in myself. Culturally, I became confident in what my heritage created me to be as a Native American, as an African American, and there's some Caucasian in there way, way, way down the line. And each of those I began to see in my hair. My hair was dark and it was thick, like my Choctaw and Cherokee ancestors. It was tight coils, like my Mississippi enslaved family. It was soft and touchable, like my Caucasian family, way, way, way down the line. And as my hair grew, I grew, and we began to blossom together. After a while, I couldn't take it anymore. So on my 17th birthday, I decided, you know what? I'm cutting it all off. Very irrational sounding, right? I sat in the chair, gripping the seat, and then I just hear snips cutting through my hair. I felt lighter as each piece fell to the floor. But looking at my hair, I felt like something died. But it wasn't a sad dying, it was more like a rejoiceful dying, like as if I was coming, leaving my juvenile self on the floor and growing into the women that I was going to be. 
When he finished cutting my hair, he asked if I wanted a mirror. I said, absolutely not. And so I ran out of the salon, sat in my 1997 Honda, and turned down the rearview mirror. And I looked, and I began to laugh vigorously. I have no idea to this day why I laughed so hard. Maybe to keep from bursting into tears, or maybe because I saw those ancestors and I rejoiced in what they created me to be, the woman that they were showing who I was going to be. Now, if you have not been listening to that whole story about my hair, that's fine. It's my feelings are not hurt. But listen now, because this is the most important part. I want to challenge you not to cut off all of your hair, because that would be crazy. But I want to challenge you to search for your heritage. Because if you look for a part of you, then you'll find yourself in there, such as I found myself through my journey. I challenge you to do this not just for yourself, but for everyone around you, because maybe you would be able to understand someone else better, like the caramel-skinned, brown-eyed, big curly-haired girl that you just want to touch her hair. I challenge you to do this so that we can all walk together with our heritage and be able to find each other within who our ancestors created us to be. Thank you.